party tricks. Harry Houdini doesn't get anywhere enough credit for how good he was at being an escapologist and a magician, an all-round entertainer. Um, but I wanted to put a little, little spotlight on him this morning. So to celebrate him and his work, I want to know what everyone's everyday party tricks are. So you don't have to be able to hang upside down and escape from a straitjacket. What is your party trick? Have you got one that you do here? Feel my finger uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> squeeze it between. No, no. Squeeze it that way. Right. Yeah. See how it goes in. That's because I actually lost the top of my finger when I was a kid. When I was when I was a little one, right? Genuinely get caught straight off the top, right? Whole whole thing off, and it's been reattached. That's why it's skinny. Oh, it's been reattached. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Now, obviously, that is complete a lie. It's a complete lie. I've made that up. What? But, but how weird <laughs> is how how weird does my finger feel when you do that? Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> yeah. annoying. You had two party tricks that you wanted to share with me. Yes, I wanted to show you the fun one. But okay, th- this is the but, fun one. Yeah, but this is the problem because it's this is obviously radio, so you're going to have to describe what you're seeing. It's a Jamaican <laughs> dance everybody. move. A what? A Jamaican dance Good move. Good luck, everybody. And it's called the Dutty Wine. The the Dutty Wine? Yes, and there's a song for it. Okay. <laughs> I don't Do think I need... we should play it. No, I don't think we should play it. Has it got... Has it got what, what, is go- what is going on here? Right, okay, so... <laughs> um, Fleet Wood Mac. Per fleet. Very good indeed. Yes, that is indeed the right answer. And Jeff, I'm afraid to say at this point, I've also been joined by Vicky, which means something's going to happen. So, Vicky. <laughs> she said she's got something special. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's definitely inappropriate for a confession, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's up? Obviously, it's a very busy day here in the BBC Essex headquarters in Chelmsford. You might argue one of the busiest days. You know, many members of staff here roaming the building, yep. doing this, doing that. The best day, the most important day, to lock the bathroom door behind you. But me being You didn't, me, did you? I didn't. So, luckily, I was standing there with a naked face on. <laughs> One of my colleagues walked in the door and actually was Grimmy. shocked and Grimmist? surprised. Yes, he was terrified. Let's out it. Oh, gosh! At my naked face. Luckily, it was just my face and nothing else. <laughs> Another lesson I've learnt here, and I decided to share with you, Mr. Jelly, on early breakfast. Well, the thing is, you, as you know, have learnt already, if you share with me off air, I will just say it on air in the next link <laughs> yeah, anyway. Exactly. So it makes no difference where, where you tell me. You know, if you want to really keep it to yourself, don't tell me. Yeah. Full stop. Um, do you feel better for that now? Do you feel better you've kind of announced it? Just dealt yeah. with it put a full stop mm. on that move on yes yeah okay good we'll get rid of that pretend there's still a blacks in the room alright so uh, my, my first question is to um, what do they say contestant number one Conte- okay. contestant number one if you were a musical instrument what would you be um, thanks so much for asking me first um, what I would be I think I would be a saxophone because mm. I'm more than meets the eye oh. if you pick me yeah. you'll find out why oh <laughs> Oh, yeah. Check it out. I'm a happily taken man, I have you know. So I've never bought a lottery ticket before. Those are my friends. What? Yeah, I've never You've bought... never bought a lottery no. ticket? Never? No. Ever? No. Not ever, ever? Ever, 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 no. <laughs> no. Philip Andre 3000. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and she was like, okay, well, we'll go Lucky Dip. And she bought in and bought the ticket. And I thought, oh, oh. I wanted to put my, my two favourite numbers down. She went, oh, sorry, maybe next time. So um, uh, something obviously I've got to do another time. Mm. That night, lottery comes up. Bearing in mind my favourite numbers are four, four and 13. And they both come up. Three and 12. Weird. No, it, it's not. No. Well, <laughs> I thought it was close, <laughs> but not close enough. I felt oh, like the lottery people were like oh, testing me. I want to give you a hug. I'm so, I'm just like, what? Put the they show were up. just like, give it hug. could be so no, close. No, come here. Come Why? here. Come here. Give me a hug. Me? I'm giving you a hug because you have no concept of how the lottery works. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm bored to get. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you think that. I can't. Do you well, know? they're tantalising no, me, you know. No, listen. This, yeah. here's, here's, the, here's the deal, right? Here's how the lottery works, okay? <laughs> okay. You pick numbers, whether it's Lucky Dip or you or you pick them all manually. You watch the lottery, the numbers come out, and you go, oh, so close. So <laughs> close. It's like, Rob, you didn't even have one number. Yeah, but they were all so close <laughs> to the numbers that actually came out. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone ever plays a lottery has done that. So what is your topping? Can we reveal them at the same time? Okay, have you got okay. yours with you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Three, two, 
One. Done. Oh, you oh. heathen. Oh, you heathen. So Rob has okay. gone for Baby Bell. Yeah, well, cheese overall, but the Baby Bell was the only cheese I had to hand. So I brought, okay. in, I brought in four Baby Bells to basically melt oh. on some toast. Oh, right. I think that might be the first time anyone's ever done that. With okay, bay. I was quite stumped. I thought we were talking about toppings, like, you know, as in like sauces, as in honey and jam. Okay, yeah, or... no, good point. This is this is what I was hoping we'd get to this morning. By saying toppings, like you think like a pizza, don't you? Oh. But can I just can I just say these three words for you? Mm. Cheese on toast. No, it's yeah, that's topping. amazing. It's a topping. I went for Marmite. I know you did, and I'm quite, I'm, I'm almost <laughs> disappointed in you for saying Marmite but, and bringing but, but, it in. Hear me out, hear me out. All okay, right. buttered toast is that the, the, the it's, a, it's a cold, wet, windy day here, which you can find many in England. Okay, you go like inside. Some music to set. You're, <laughs> you're, you're battling from the elements and go and have a warm, <laughs> some lightning by the way out in the background. Buttered toast, you yeah. know, it's oozing with butter. It's warm and and it really revives you. But then you have just a tiny bit of of Marmite on the crusts. Just, just have, in the that, background. have that tanginess, you know? It's that combination of warm butter and tanginess on the crusts. No, not sold? Well, I'm not a massive fan of Marmite, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. If you can make some. Yeah, of course. Can I leave the bread with you and the, and the baby bills? Yes. I don't even know how you're going to melt the baby bills. Oh, gosh. Not in our BBC-funded kitchen, that's for sure. <laughs> going to try your cheese one. Okay. Mm. No, do you know what? You're right. Putting it in the corners is a good idea because that means you can eat around the marmite because it's disgusting. What have I just <laughs> put in my mouth? Unbelievable scenes here on BBC Essex. It's dire straits. Happy it's... Friday. Happy fr- no, say Fri-yay. it. Friday. Pro- <laughs> First thing she did when she walked in this morning, she went, Happy Friday. <laughs> see, now they, they see, see, see how they rolled their eyes like I did, you see. <laughs> Friday, what are you on about? Everyone's thinking it. I'm the one who's saying it. <laughs> is that your new catchphrase, is it? <laughs> How oh, can gosh. you not be in a good mood when you've got a laugh like that in your company, <laughs> eh? Absolutely. <laughs>